Hey, my babies, and welcome back to another message, okay? I'm not going to make this too long, Divine Fam, Divine Masculine, but I heard get going, break a leg, okay? Um, get your roll on. <laughs> um, I'm basically picking up that it's time for you to move. Yeah, that's the truth. It's, it's time for you to move on to something else or something else is moving towards you. Or you're going to do something easily and gracefully. Now, you've been having some kind of struggle with your finances. I'm seeing that changing for you. I feel like you may have been in the wrong lane doing something or you may have been um, at the wrong pace doing something. This may, like I said, break a leg. Like, keep going. You need to do more of something. Maybe put a little bit more consistency. I heard the word contingency. Okay. But whatever this is, I feel like there's a very happy uh, outcome. I was going to say income. So, yeah, somebody is getting some incoming news or some income, like an increase. I also feel like, too, you're about to get a call from a soulmate energy. Somebody you ain't spoke to in a while, no place like home. This is somebody that you have not spoken to in a minute, to be fair. This person wants to work out something with you. They want to tell you that they're sorry. Never any story. The fates in the reverse. But see, it's not fated for you to be with this person or anywhere near them, I feel. Then we also have peace that came out and breathed. Yeah, so it's like you can finally breathe after not being around someone. And it's like they want to come back and suffocate you. Like, not literally suffocate you, but it's like they want to love bomb you or something. But this is to slow you down. Round and round, reverse, loyal, heart, flexible, and serendipity. This is what I'm saying right here. I seen 144. Yeah. You're not, whomever you are, you're not going to go round and round with this person anymore. It's, um, this is only because you're receiving something so big, so extravagant. God is definitely placing a major blessing in your life. And this person can feel it coming. They can literally feel that you're, um, I heard they can feel it in their bones. <laughs> that you got some kind of great news that's coming towards you. And they trying to get a leg up, you know, but they trying to use this leg up to step over you. They trying to use you to step over you, if that makes any sense. If you can see this, um, this little baby bear or whatever the fuck is climbing on this uh, bear's back. But see, imagine this person right here wanting you to just be still. They want to get on your back, but they're going to use that to walk all over you. This person got spikes. They got on cleats and shit. This motherfucker right here got cleats on trying to walk over you wow this is real thank you for giving it to me like that spirit because that's what i was feeling like somebody is trying to use you to walk over you but to put themselves in a better predicament but they want to leave you fucked up though like when they leave you behind they want to leave you fucked up whoever this is or whoever you are you know damn well this is your intention honey it ain't gonna go like that Whoever you are, you're in beast mode or you need to be. It's something about you being consistent with something. It doesn't matter. I feel like um, people make time for what they want. People make time for what they truly care about. And when you just keep putting work and effort into something, you're going to be victorious. I promise you that. You're going to move in a very positive manner. And I've been preaching this word of not giving up, right? Okay. So yeah, you, can't, you can't fold. You can't give up. You can't do anything. You have to remain firm. And something because it's like you're right there to get your blessing and it's like so somebody sees you just standing there and they like okay well since you're not gonna move i'm finna come and walk all over you then i'm finna come and beat you some kind of way somebody wants to leave you where you're standing but you're not standing anywhere you're planted is what the fuck i heard you're planted okay something about planters peanuts peanut butter something like that Reese cups like somebody love bubbles from the power pose girls what else is here? Somebody didn't ain't could be bubbles. Okay. What's here? Somebody named Justin Antoine. Antoinette. Antoinette or something like that. Nikki. Cameron. 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 Okay. Sacral chakra reverse. Yeah, so you're not whoever you are, it's gonna be a passion ignited. Um a new flame is what I'm hearing. It's it's gonna be a new flame with somebody else, maybe named Chris. I don't know. But you got a new, it's a new start with somebody else and somebody pissed off about that. And this could even be family. I don't know what this is. This could be, I don't know who, who this could be, but I know that they're an op. That's what I do know. You did reach you? I'm trying to say what the fuck going on right here, fam. I swear. Somebody trying to leave you heartbroken with something that you're creating on your own. Man, come on with this. This is what I'm saying. One, one, two, one, one. 
somebody wants to know the 411, they want to get a little bit closer. They want to get a little bit closer. It's like they got an idea that something is happening, but they don't know exactly what's happening. This person is trying to use you to manipulate you. They're trying to use other shit to manipulate you. They're the ones that... This, this person is just pissed because you have no emotions towards something. You're not going to pay something no attention. Or you should not. Because this person's motive is not right. They're driven by greed, hatred, and everything other than something godly. This is a very um, low vibe person here. Spiritual strength in the reverse. This person is also weak as hell. Fuck here. And they're mad because you're in your power being recognized and rewarded. Somebody could be about 38 years old. Somebody could have been born excuse me, in 1983. I see you just changing your life all around the board, period. Whoever you is, bro, excuse me, guys. Whoever you is, like, whatever you doing, make sure you keep going with this shit right here, feel masculine, because it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. Whatever you doing in the dark, that's who you truly are, because it's gonna always going to the light. Even if you are in darkness, you are still the light. Don't ever forget that shit. But it's something that you're doing in the background that nobody can see that you're working on. And somebody is trying to bring your blessings out to the forefront. They want you to reveal something that's going on in your fucking life. They want to move towards you so that they can see. They want a closer look at something. They're like, well, I ain't heard from that person in a minute or damn. I need to know what they got going on so I can benefit too. This person should have chose wisely or this is you. You need to choose wisely. Y'all better stop going towards people with these goddamn motives and shit. Because some people can see right through your ass. And then it leaves you heartbroken and it makes them want to do more shit to you. These people up here getting heartbroken because you're not going to partner with them because you see right through that shit. But then who would be mad if you would actually fall for this shit? You dig a rescue? It'll be you. But that's their goal. Somebody's goal is to have you in deep regret regarding something, a decision that you made or that you will make coming up soon. But it's, it's, it's involving them. And some kind of relationship or some kind of partnership, I do not know. But y'all just need to be very cautious. I feel like at this time, this is the best time to just keep minding your fucking business. To keep building up whatever this is that you're doing. Whatever you're doing, you're going the right way. Somebody is having a lot of anxiety here as well. Okay, somebody is doing a lot of manipulation spiritually towards you. Somebody is also about to get a, a crazy energetic boost. Like, you're going to have a bunch of energy just out of nowhere. Somebody is working out a lot. I've been picking that up for sure. And whoever you are, you're definitely dedicated to this. It's like something that woke up inside of you. Something something caused you to want to just change your whole body. It's something about your body. Definitely something about the body here. Yeah, our angel Raphael is protecting this woman, holding a coin from these envious, greedy snakes. It's something about your body that you, you care more about your body or yourself. Somebody could have literally went to the doctor and got some news and you just said, you know what, fuck that. I'm changing the way I eat. I'm changing the way I'm thinking. I'm changing myself. You made a contract with the most high God. I feel like you already had one, but this is like a um agreement between you and the father. You did Garush you. And I feel like that's your business. That ain't nobody business but yours. And somebody is trying to come get in your fucking business in the community. Talking all this bullshit about you too. Daughter romance. Somebody talking about you. Um, somebody may be going around telling people that they had sex with you. Even if they did have sex with you, they lying saying that it was horrible when it was actually the best sex they ever had. And they mad because they can't hit it again. She's really mad because she can't suck on masculine no more. She's really mad, whoever this is. And then they're going to try to come in your face acting like they won just against you. This person right here is going to try to come in acting like they were not just against you. You got Archangel, um, Metatron, and Gabriel here. Financial constraints in the reverse trying to play with your motherfucking money and shit. Your angels is protecting your vault. That is no illusion. You really having, you really having that shit. These people right here only want to have it. You don't, they don't got shit. They don't got nothing going on and they have no protection either. Yeah, the world card and end of a cycle is here. I'm seeing a fiery climax approaches. I'm seeing that card out my moon. Ology did. Yep. Yeah. Excuse me, y'all. What the fuck I got going under that? Goddess of the moon. Somebody is hiding some. But see, like I said, their true intention is going to be, you're going to be able to see right through whatever this is. Or you should be so, you know, discerning that you can see right through whatever this is. Because somebody wants you to stop working. This could even be somebody that's trying to come into your life. 
and, and dick you down all day or, you know, suck you up all day right here. Masculine just have you lazy, not wanting to go to work or something like that. But that's not you. You are a person that gets up and you hustle. But this is something regarding your own business or something. I heard the word diversion. So this could be somebody that's trying to just uh, throw you off, like, you know, um, distract you in a way. Action in the reverse, like you can't take action with something. This could be somebody trying to set something up to, like, so, oh my goodness. I'm seeing somebody literally trying to distract someone. Like, they're trying to use themselves to distract you to fuck you up. Like, while they fucking with you, like, somebody can be sucking on you, masculine, and the bitch got a, a whole motherfucking group of motherfuckers outside your door or something. God forbid, but that's what I'm picking up. Like, this person is definitely trying to rob you of something. Yep, that's their strategy. But they're not going to take no action because you're not, correct? Y'all folks ain't fucking with these people. Y'all not letting these folks in y'all house or nothing like that. I don't know why the hell people be thinking that this will even work because, first of all, they got to get in your energy. They got to get in your face. They got to be close to you for this to work. Like I said, with the spiritual manipulation, there is some, but it's all truly about you being appreciated and you having this cornucopia energy. It's truly about destroying you. Like I said, whoever you are, you're not fucking moving. You're not going no damn where. So they trying to find a way to come to you and fuck you up. You Oh, you ain't going to come over here. You ain't going to go over there. You're not going to come out when I invite you. Cool. I'm going to come to you. I'm going to find a way to get to you. And they'll use anybody to do so. This is very low vibing. Because I see what the hell these people trying to do and it's not going to work at all. This person has matured. This divine masculine is mature enough to know that he's not letting no bitches in his house. He's not letting no bitches in his house. He's not pulling up to no bitch house. Like, for what? Masculine. This Whoever this divine masculine is, I'm reading, this person going to need to talk to you for about five months before you're going to come up in his house. Masculine going to get a hotel or something before he just let somebody in his house. In his house? Where he lay his fucking head when his kids come over and shit, man. Please, bitch. This person really think they got some kind of sauce or something to get you to go against everything that you stand for. What the fuck? But they're being sent by someone else. Or this could just be their own plan. Divine masculine done move or divine feminine done move. This is your ex trying to get like a location or your new place or something. I feel like if you moved away from this person, you live for a reason for them never to be able to fucking find you. Journey in the reverse. Wealthy man reverse. Masculine has completely retreated. This divine masculine is going to retreat from whoever the fuck this is. And this family is too. Like, man, you old news. You are so, you're old news. You're petty. I don't want nothing to do with you. In fact, a lot of y'all ain't even going to reply to this person at all. Why do I feel like motherfuckers is trying to send people to you, though? This is like your ex or something trying to send in a homeboy or they homegirl or something like that. You have a child with this person, too. They're trying to block something off for you. They're trying to completely destroy you because you want nothing to do with them. And see, the thing of it is, if y'all got a child together, they ain't thinking about this child. This person is only thinking about destroying you. They're not of high honor. This is why 1313. This is why they'll always be in this low vibing ass fucking nothing ass energy. Because they don't want shit in life. Family room, I'm telling you. Whoever you will, bro. I ain't got to tell you. You ain't letting nobody in your house. This is what I'm saying. You're not letting this person in your house. This person is concerned about where you live. They need to literally get in your house. You could have been married to this person for about three years or something like that. Or you could have known them for about three years or something about three years is significant. This person is getting nowhere near this damn wealthy man. Whoever this wealthy man is, this is divine masculine. This is this masculine who gets up every fucking day and put hard work into his legacy. And this bitch want to take everything from him. This is divine fam who get up every day and put work in with her legacy. And this nigga want to take everything from you because you're capable of taking care of your goddamn self with no one's help. I mean, I feel like they should have hollered at you back in 96. You've been taking care of yourself. The fuck these people talking about right here. Somebody is not understanding the vibes of what's really going on. Y'all make sure y'all go watch that Vir uh, Virgo reading. That's the Ace of Swords true, baby. I'm telling you the truth. Go make sure y'all uh, subscribe to Love Peppermint. Because this same energy is here. Spirit's telling you to just keep going forward with the chariot. I can't make it up. Cancer energy. You need to keep moving forward. Don't go backwards for shit. I don't care if you got a child with somebody or not. I don't care, bro. Don't be backtracking. Do not go backwards, bro. I don't care if you got a child. If y'all ain't together and you couldn't make it work, 
that's technically going backwards. Not saying to cut your child off. No, you don't have to be with nobody, bro. You don't got to do that. The Eight of Swords here in the reverse. This masculine sees clearly what the fuck going on. And it's a damn shame that these people be trying to use your children, some innocent goddamn children, to try to fuck you up. Justice. This person could be trying to get near you to have some kind of court shit come up. Stalking you and following you. Ace of Cups with the Magician. They they magic weak as fucking hell shit. They wanted to do some kind of spell on you to get you to come back and you're not. What's the Eight of Swords? You're not going anywhere near this person. Anywhere. You left their ass in the Five of Fucking Pentacles. You released this person with the Four of Pentacles reverse. That's what I'm trying to say. Y'all folks is not worrying about none of this shit. Somebody always got their head wrapped up. It's a certain wrap that this person wears. Or this masculine might wear a lot of do-rags or bandanas or something. I don't know what the fuck this is. What's the four of pentacles reverse? Or hats. Hats, bandanas. It's something about covering the crown. Knight of Wands. But it's a wrap. Like wraps or some kind of um, religious garment, period. That's what I'm picking up. This person is coming in too fucking fast. They're coming in too quickly here. What's the ju uh, justice? I was going to say judgment. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. This person wants something from you. I'm telling you, this is the damn devil. They want something from you. Something that's just clearly yours. They want to bring your legacy down. This person does not want you to be with no one the fuck else. Whoever this King of Cups, Ten of Cups is. Yeah, it's a whole different person here. It's a whole different person that you're with or that you're supposed to be with. And this person is sitting back watching you work. And they're trying to come towards you and fuck everything up. Like, oh, you think you're going to be successful without me? I feel like you've been successful before you even knew this person existed. The fuck is you talking about? This motherfucker is in a six of wands reverse. This is a six of wands. This is a shame, Jody. This is a damn shame. These people be coming to y'all with motives. They be knowing what they doing, bro. These people do not. This is not no coincidence. This is not no coincidence, bro. What's the six of wands? Then I talk up the judgment card. Child. Judgment. The will, the ace of swords, and the five of cups. The truth truly is, bitch, that karma is going to serve your ass. You're going to get your karma is what the fuck the truth is, bitch. Nigga, karma, karma, karma. I seen 17, 17 as I was saying that, and I'm dead ass serious. The ten of swords reverse. These people have done enough to y'all. I don't know why somebody just won't leave you the hell alone. This is somebody that just refuses to leave you alone. And then this person could literally be in a relationship with someone damn else. They're in a relationship with somebody else and they sit up here worrying about you and your shit. Somebody mad because they can't just pull up to your house. They mad because they can't just pull up to your house whenever they wanted to. Because in the past, this person may have been able to just pull up because they were invited. They're not invited. Can't come in here. Somebody's also getting a website. I heard Wix. Okay. Somebody is creating a website. It's you, you, man, y'all, y'all people doing big shit every day. Is what I'm saying. Y'all folk always got some new shit going on right here, fam. That's why I fuck with y'all folk, bro. Y'all folk be minding y'all damn business, y'all. You be minding your business, and he gonna need damn people with this dumb shit. Somebody literally trying to come in and cause some kind of distraction. This is not a boss bitch. It's not a boss bitch. This bitch is not shit, bro. Or this is you, a queen. You did your shield. <laughs> For real. They're fed up with something. This person right here loves to, to be in your damn bed. Oh, they did what, what they post today. They need to get a closer goddamn look on this masculine. This bitch got a whole man living in the house with her. Why is she worrying about this masculine? I'm trying to figure that out. Dirt digging, trying to see where you live and shit. Like I said, something about your location. It's something about your location. It's something about the location of something. Maybe a certain event or whatever. What's the tea on this energy over here? What's the tea that? Thank you very much. Family issues. Extra trigger. Clout hungry. This is what I'm saying. What the hell is this for? What What is this for? Somebody baby mama or their baby daddy is clout hungry. Or maybe you ain't even in the same. Okay, so see, a lot of y'all, when you were with this person, you may have not been as popular or as... Um, getting money as you are now like you might be getting way more money or you might be way more popular than before and this is what this person is pissed off at they're mad at that because they like well they were not like that when i was with them so i'm gonna go to some voodoo doctors and i'm gonna go do some shit to this person to slow them down and everything that they're doing i'm gonna pay attention to it every day to make sure i can block it because they're not with me 
And if you got a child with this person, this person going straight to hell. And they're extra triggered about it. But burn, baby, burn, bitch, burn. This going to turn off. Burn. Burn, bitch. Burn, loose ass motherfucking nigga. For real. This person is not even hustling. This person right here, you may need to get your child from this drama star motherfucker right here. Masculine for sure. You might need to really get your child from your person because this person right here is neglecting your child. But well, they sit up here talking all that bullshit fuck about you and what kind of parent you are. Somebody literally going around lying. Somebody else says, ain't hitting on me, you know, whatever, yeah. But they having wet dreams of you and how you put it down in the bedroom. Oh, okay. But you sitting up here telling people, what the fuck you telling people anything for? You shouldn't be talking about this person at all. You don't like them. You got so many problems with somebody. What the fuck are they the topic of the discussion for them? Somebody that I don't give a damn about is never going to be somebody I'm focused on. You dig a rooshku? What the fuck is you talking about? I don't give a fuck. Who cares? Who cares? Motherfuckers too busy worrying about they stuff. This is a, 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 a classic tale of mind your fucking business. These are a bunch of damn karmies. This person could even be trying to get her uh, karmic ass friends to jump divine feminine, man, bitch, please. I heard pull her hair, pull her hair, huh? Divine family, you might got some real thick, curly, pretty ass hair or some shit. I don't know what this is. Person trying to meet this divine masculine and boys, you know. I'm saying, bro, y'all better leave these fuck with the fuck they at. I'm just trying to say the vibes. I don't even give a fuck. You don't even know these man. Fuck these people. I don't let these folks in your house nowhere near you where you eat your food, where you drink your drinks and shit, bro. Make sure you always watching out. Somebody's trying to retaliate against you. And that shit real fucked up, ain't it? How you gotta watch the cooks, the waitress, and the motherfucking bartender. You gotta watch every motherfucking body, even the bottle girls. You gotta watch these hoes and these Don't even bring me no open bar. I open my own bottle. Bring me a court school. Don't bring me shit. I can do it myself. If I really need to go out and celebrate, I can open it myself. I don't need to bring. Man, look, I'm bringing my own shit. Fuck it. Okay, child? I'm gonna cater to the goddamn club tonight, bitch. That shit is so crazy how chosen you are to the point where people follow you everywhere to stalk you. This shit's so bad, bro. If I was who, bro, I'm telling you, I, if I was going out to a club, wherever this person trying to catch you at, I would literally have this shit. I would cook this shit my fucking self before I eat anything for anybody, anywhere, at any time. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I eat, I bust open a bag of hot Cheetos in that bitch. Fuck is you talking about, bro? You can't trust these fucking people, bro. Somebody is on some bull fucking shit. Let me get one more. I'm getting the fuck up out of this dumb shit. I'm getting the hell up out of this. I'm not standing here. Get up here. Oh, fuck no. I heard Sopratio, Ontario, Horatio. The fuck? Tia, Leah, Anita, Aaliyah, Kamisha, Leticia. My last name Crawford, C R A W F O R D, Hartford, Hartford, Connecticut. Could be significant, or somebody's last name could be Hartford. Shout it out to you. Better listen. I'm telling you. But see, I ain't got to really say shit to y'all. Y'all folks is very intuitive, and you've already received this download. If not, you will. But yeah, this is that bullshit fuck I be talking about, Divine Feminine Masculine. But y'all folks be careful. And this could be somebody, like I said, targeting Divine Feminine. I ain't even get no more cards to clarify. I don't even, man, fuck this. I'm, I'm so sick of this shit right here, Shawty. All because y'all fuck winning because you getting fucking money and you don't need they raggedy asses. All because you don't want to stick dick in nobody or you don't want to slob on them or some shit right here, masculine fam. You don't want to exchange anything with this person, not even no words, and they're pissed the fuck off. So, I will see you guys in the next reading, okay? I hope this gets out to whoever it needs to get out to at the correct time. Remember that God loves you and so do I, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. See you next time.